Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Um, how was your time in London and how has the tour been so far? Uh, we always have a lovely time in London. There's just too much to do. Um, That's good. Tour's right, eh? Tour's really good. It's probably mm -hmm. the best, some of the best gigs we've ever been involved in, without That's a doubt. Great. It's so like the level's definitely gone up and tonight it's going to be a, another win, I hope. Cool. So first of all, congratulations on the new single and we Thank love you. the album. Cheers. Um, how would you describe the album making process for that album? Uh, long. Oh, Grueling, uh, long, uh, confusing. Confusing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we did it in Nashville and then we did half of it in France where we live. Um, and it took just over a year from start to finish um, and it was all about capturing the right sound, the right feel, and that didn't come in the first instance. So we kept going back to the drawing board, eh? Yeah, it wasn't easy. <laughs> but it was good, like, I mean, we had the opportunity to, uh, we did half the album in Nashville and half of it in France. Um, and we did a song in London as well, actually. We, had, we, keep, we keep forgetting that because it was like a little stopover and we mm -hmm. recorded the song here and then went off to France. Um, but yeah, it took over about a year in total and um, there, it was a great learning experience. I'm looking forward to doing the record too and making sure we don't make the same mistakes we made last time. But, the, I mean, hey, the album's brilliant, you know, if I don't say so myself. Yeah, cool. and the second record, we can do it in two weeks because we know how to do it now. <laughs> cool, so um, is there a favourite song off the album? Um, I like Lost Company a lot. It's a personal song to Rory, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of a celebration um, as well as being a sad song, but mm -hmm. I don't know, the, the music, we wrote the music, and I just thought, like, you know what, Rory... Like, that seems like the right vibe to uh, approach that subject with. Yeah, Am I wrong? Okay. No, no, you're right. It was Rob's idea, actually. We were, we were, I was kind of like, oh, you know, I've got this idea of doing it about someone in a, in a bar, and he, he kind of chirped in and said, let's do it about your dad. And I was like, well, OK, here we go. <laughs> Rob with the hard-hitting questions. Okay. Um, uh, my favourite is Somewhere Maybe. Um, I, I think it's a di I, Well, when I listen to the record, I think that one kind of jumps out for me. Um, it's different. I do love playing it live, um, so that's probably why. He likes the video. <laughs> I do like the video. <laughs> the video is a good time. All right, cool. So you guys have an interesting story as to how you started playing music together. Do you want to tell us a bit about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were uh, all working in a strip club, and um, I'm joking. <laughs> no, uh, we all met. So I was actually not far off. Like. <laughs> I was actually the first one to kind of arrive in this bar in the southwest of France, um, and from that I met Jed through a mutual friend. And it was actually all mutual friends that kind of brought us together. Okay. Um, uh, one, one particular guy called Woody. And, uh, what's up, Woody? Because, what's up, Woody? And because of him, we sort of all met, really. And we all just kind of, it was like a means to an end. Mm -hmm. let's, let's play some cover songs and earn some money. And then, uh, yeah, and then we realized that it was going quite well and people liked it. And we changed songs kind of, we obviously had a, a sound, if you will. Mm -hmm. And people were like, is that your tune? We're like, no. <laughs> the Rolling Stones, don't you know your history? <laughs> so then we'd have a go at them. Uh, but then we were like, all right, let's write our own stuff. And um, yeah. And so I, how did you, sorry, how did you start, why did you start writing your own music? Yeah, uh, it was something. You always want to do Yeah, that. like who doesn't mm -hmm. want to do that? But it's not, we didn't consider it in the first instance. We okay. were just, you know, playing music yeah. to make a living somehow. Yeah. And it was one big blag and it was quite funny. Um, but yeah, like when we realized we could do it, we'd spent a whole summer taking like one afternoon out a week. Uh, mm -hmm. Throughout that summer, we'd eventually got together a few songs uh, each afternoon. We'd sort of finish a song and then start a new one and then come back to it the next week. Uh, so when we realized we could do it, we were like, well, we could do it. So let's slowly draw this era to an end and start you know, a new thing, Sunset Suns, mm -hmm. and see how far we can take it. Yeah. All right, so that being said, um, what word you d would you describe um, your music with like what's one word you would use to describe um, it? Party, exciting. <laughs> and what <Stupid>. song? <laughs> They're really exciting. <laughs> and what song of yours do you think best represents you as a band? Uh, well, we or go. Are they all a bit different. Yeah, they're all a bit different. But we like there is a there is a piano theme. I don't think there's many bands that. Well, okay, that's a lie, because there's, there's a handful of bands that have like a front man that uh, plays the piano. And like the piano is a big part of our songs. Mm -hmm. um, and it, we're not just a guitar band, which is, I think, different to a lot of bands that are at the moment. Um, so I think Remember is kind of definitely, I don't know if it puts us on the map, but yeah. it definitely um, is a song that people got onto quickly. I think it's kind of a classic vibe as well. Mm -hmm. Like we're not, haven't reinvented the wheel. Like, 
our writing style, our instrumentation, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> we didn't do anything new. We just did what we do. And, yeah. uh, you know, Rory's got a great voice and um, we work well together. So okay. what's not to like? <laughs> There's a weird thing here. Like, um, we're very fortunate. It's the first band I've ever been in, but not all group four guys in the room or, you know, four girls in the room, whatever, can write music together mm. and it go well like that you'll have a moment where we're sort of just you know making an absolute mess of music and all of a sudden this kind of this noise i know it sounds silly but this this sound that's our sound happens yeah. um and I don't, I, I don't think i really appreciate it until people start saying it's not every day that you can just write tunes like that mm. you know um and we do have something really special you know we kind of even though we argue and stuff we we write good music and stuff and when it when it works it really works yeah. so um, right on. All right, cool. So, um, who or what inspires the music you guys create? This guy, <laughs> right here. I am the sole inspiration of everything we write. I do get pretty excited on Rob's Rob's guitar, and I, I do you know I think the other two. I can say it now, but because the other two are not here, but I'll be like, Rob, honestly, mate, that is min. And the other two, are like, yeah, I played on the record as well. Um, inspiration. I mean, like, I think music I've grown up with. Mm -hmm. What kind of music was that? Um, so I grew up listening to a lot of Motown. I've got my okay. sisters are quite a bit older than me, and they um, they used to always listen to Motown vinyls. Um, uh, there was always there was always Motown, um, Hendrix, and Queen. That was always playing. Okay. Yeah, so that was kind of like my first initial. And then Oasis was the thing that really was my baby. It was like this is my music, yeah. um, and I, I loved loved the the Britpop vibe. Okay. Anything guitar for me? Nirvana, when I was a weird little teenager. Um, <laughs> Jed loves Springsteen. Uh, yeah. And that's quite a big influence because um, he totally got me into Springsteen as well. So that direct influence on how I play guitar. And he didn't get me. Didn't get, he didn't get Rory. <laughs> didn't get me. Uh, and Pete, oh, Pete's got like a, a bit of a punk background. So, okay. and uh, you know, just to look at him, you're like, yeah. <laughs> He's a punk. So you guys bring all that together and kind of create. Like yeah, like, like you know, thing. sometimes we have to sell certain individuals to you know, like do less, mm -hmm. do less. But yeah, okay. we've all got our thing. Cool. So you guys have toured quite a bit now. Played a couple festivals as well. Oh, we've played yeah. a few. Yeah. We've played a couple. Just a couple. Oh, just a couple. A few. <laughs> Sorry. And um, what would you say is the most memorable show to date, though, and why? Um, I'm gonna say. We did a support from Imagine Dragons, mm -hmm. right? So we were on tour with them for 37 arenas. And there was one where everyone got their phone lights out for... Uh, was it Watch Your Back? Oh, in no, Manchester. No, it was I Can't Wait. It was I Can't Wait in Manchester. And um, I don't know, it wasn't like a standout gig in terms of our achievements, mm -hmm. but it's just a moment I've got ingrained in my head, yeah. just standing on stage looking at that. It was what, 12,000, 15,000? Oh no, do you know what? It might have been one of the biggest ones, Manchester. It, was, it might yeah. have been like close up to 20,000 people all with their phones out. Wow. Yeah, it was, um, I don't know a lot of people like go on about, I, I'm with Rob actually, that was a, that was a yeah. real moment. Okay. Because they don't have to do it for the support band, but um, yeah, they seem to like it that night, didn't they? Yeah, we won them over. That's cool. So you guys have toured with Imagine Dragons, as we said. Um, what would your dream collaboration be, though? Uh, you could pick anyone. Oasis. Sorry? Oasis. Oasis, okay. Uh, Oasis. <laughs> Prince. Prince. <laughs> All right. I write P. <laughs> Prince, they, they both played here. Did they? Yeah, okay. they both played here, which is cool. Sharing a stage with absolute gods. That's cool. Not on the same night, but... <laughs> 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 so, this year has been exciting. Lots of stuff have happened. Yeah. What would you... Do you have any future projects coming up? What can we look forward to in terms of new music? Well, uh, it's, it's time to um, make another album. Yeah. It's time to make album two. <laughs> uh, we've been writing the whole way along because okay. you can't stop. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we're just bringing that, just bringing it all together, man. Because it's time to give some new music out, and okay. we've just released Drop VR as well, so to give them, mm -hmm. give you guys a little yeah. something, something. But there's more on the way. So we asked your fans to send them some questions, and we've picked three of the best questions. Cool, um, cool, so if cool. you want to grab that iPad and Goodness. just have a look oh, yeah. at the this? questions. All right, here we go. I recognise yeah. <laughs> There you go. Hey guys, it's Polly from Sanderson's Germany. Hi, I'm so jealous that I can't be here with you tonight, but I know that you will rock the stage as always, and I hope you're having a great time. 
I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm so in love with the new song. Seriously, it's one of the best yes. songs I've ever heard in the music videos. So cool. I've never seen anything like that before. Said, you know? And I've been listening to your song since it came out. This is how much I love the song. And yeah, you're just my favorite band, but I hope you already know that. Um, my question is, if your life ended today, what song would you choose to represent it? Love and greetings from Germany, and I uh, will see you when you're back in Germany. Ooh, what song? Uh, represent your life, it's a big question. Straight away, I'd, I'd go uh, Live Forever, Oasis. <laughs> the day I die. <laughs> Cheesy. <laughs> well, I, I can top that with cheese because um, I was talking to our sound engineer about this song earlier. It's called uh, In Time by Robbie Rob. It's uh, no one knows. It's on the soundtrack to Bill and Ted. Uh, ah. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Such a good song. In time, we'll be dancing in the streets. So. Hello. Okay, sunset Hello. I'm Nina Parker and I'm really a real fan of you. I like you. I've visited all your concerts in Holland, including that one of the Mandy Dragons. That was good. I've met you before, I hope you remember. But I got an opportunity that I could ask you something, so I'm going to do it right now. Uh, how do you feel about touring, about meeting people, about meeting fans, about everything that includes like meeting everyone? I'm in the airport right now, so you probably hear something around it, eating my croque monsieur. Okay, Thank you airport, for answering my question, I hope. Oh, maybe uh, Amsterdam Airport. Well, that's an easy one. How do you feel about it? I love it. It is, it is what makes being in a band, really. Yeah. Um, the, the touring and sort of meeting the fans and, and just... Because and you get to visit all these different cities that yet you've never, I've never really been to. Um, and you turn up there and you've got, you know, fans that want to see what you do. It doesn't get much better than that, you know? Yeah, it's... Touring is epic. Uh, it's the hardest thing to do, uh, but it's also incredibly rewarding. Uh, and we do a lot of awesome stuff. So, you know, you've got to enjoy it where you can. Mm -hmm. Living the dream. We are actually living in the dream. Living the dream in the back minus, of a van. Minus the jets and the, and the helicopters, but <laughs> we're Yeah, it's not that glamorous, actually, but it is cool. Okay, final question. Hi, guys. My name's Sean. What's up, Sean? Um, I'm the absolutely crazy one who's giving up tickets to see you guys tonight. To Why would you do that? Sports conference. No, I'm mad. Better be the best conference I've ever been to. <laughs> um, my question for you is, if someone was to pay you in a film, who would you pick and why? Can't wait to see you in Birmingham tomorrow. I know who you're, I know who you're going to. Yes. Oh, yeah. Single is amazing. Thank you. Oh, nice she likes a single. Cool. Single's gone down well. Actually, I don't know. Have you chosen one? Can I choose yours? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> okay, so for Rob, if someone's going to play him in a film, it would be uh, Colin Firth. Oh, Colin Firth. Yeah. Cool. What, you, you, as he is now, or...? Um, no, I think maybe... I'm going to go Darcy, Colin Firth. Yeah, that's design. cool. I like that, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you choose mine. Darcy, not in Bridget Jones in um, um, Pride and Prejudice, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Pride, Pride and Prejudice. Yeah. Cool, I like that. Uh, you choose mine. Um... Will Smith, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. So if, if anyone was going to play me, it would be Will Smith. If he can play Muhammad Ali, he can play me. So... <laughs> There you have it, exclusive. <laughs> so Will, when they do the the uh, the, uh, the uh, rock documentary, if you will. Um. <laughs> great, great time, isn't it? So there you go. All right, great. Thank you so much. <laughs>